Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm here today. I have a terrible headache, though, but I am here. And uh, I'm going to have to go out in a snowstorm to get something for it when we're done here. <coughs> There's two good gaps. I hope they cooperate since I have a terrible headache. I have DLTR up in the middle, I mean in the main screen, watching first, and Rost is in the middle. <coughs> I think my brain is just an overload. But hopefully if I can get something, I'll be better quick. Um, the target on this really just is very, very big, so I, I'm not going to play anything to a target today because, like I said, I have a headache. But DLTR will just look for 90 for the first target, but really could even drop down to 86 today if it works. And Ross, I don't, I don't know. I have this up in the middle just because I, I don't know which one's going to work. I think they could both work, so I'm just going to watch them both so that we can get something good. <coughs> uh, market, I think holds, but I think it could be a sloppy day. So I think we hold, even though we're gapping down. I wouldn't short the market today. You can't buy the market here. Um, but I still think we hold. Just a news reaction that happened, and we were gapped down last night. Um, so I would just leave it be. Again, we're shorting anyway, so even if the market falls, it's not going to bother me. <laughs> All right, let's have a good one today. <coughs> the LTR is the main one. Rost in the middle. Well, this is at 90 now. <laughs> oh, obviously 90. Just got to the first target. This has been flying off the cliff all morning. Okay, ready to go. Good luck, everyone. We'll see what we get. Don't worry about the market. Spread in here isn't too bad, given the price point. Good luck. So 87 now, 88, 88 in the morning here for this Dollar Tree. Interesting day for the market. <laughs> okay. This is gonna 
that go? Just a question of where. Stop is going to be 9065, and I do not have the entry. This is, this is going to go. Okie doke. If you can't hear anything, Simon, there's nothing I can do. It's a little late now. Sign out, sign back in. If you can't hear me, I, and I can't write. 65 is going to be the stop. Oh, no, just wait. Just wait. No one should be in this yet. No one should have been in it yet. All right, stop's going to be different. It's going to be 91.10. Wow, this is going to be big. 30, let's do 35 by 10. 35 by 10. 35 by 10. If you don't know what I mean, you can't do it. Here, take it. Just get in if you want it. Put the stop in at 10. It's going to roll over. Wow. Wow. Here it goes. Yep. Put it at put it at 91.10. 91.10. Here it goes. DLTR. First target's 88. Actually 89, but it's almost there. And let me just make sure. Yeah, we gave this plenty of room. Here, just let it roll on over. Let it break 89. Just let it go, go, go. Eighty-eight. Let's see if we can get it down to eighty-eight. I just don't know here what the market's going to do today, but I think we hold, like I said. Uh, and this is trying to go, and we did the best one. Yay! Here, pay attention. Fifty six. This is this probably goes eighty six dollars today, but eighty eight is a real number that we'd have to watch for a bounce in here. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it down to eighty eight. It's the LTR. Nice call. 933, 56, so we got to get under, come on, come on, it's hanging on by a thread, all right, let's look at the market quick, doop a doop a doop boo this did move a little bit, the rust. You could have done rust on your own. You could be in it. Not going to do two different things while we're in this, but that looks like that did set up. And you could have shaved some off here of the DLTR if you wanted to, but we have the stop at the exact right place, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, this had a little bit of a move. Sam and I've been talking. If you can't hear me, it's a little late now. You missed the call. And I think I have the volume on maximum. Is everyone, can everyone hear me? Here it goes, DLTR. I don't think I'm talking any lower today, except for the fact I told you I have a headache, so maybe I am. Here, DLTR. Right, we got to get through the low. 56. We have to get under that number right now. 934. No. Here, here, here. This is it. Get it, get it, get it. Right down to 88. If it doesn't break it, out. Here, DLTR. Oh, come on, you stinker. You stinker. I have a headache. Hurry up. I need an Excedrin. K 
here. Don't think it under 50 yet. 38, well we did, but. Eighty-eight thirty-eight, eighty-eight forty-one. Yeah, market's going to hold today. Well, that was a nice read because we really could have fallen. I mean, I still think we need to hold very, very strong. I think we need to hold that low of the day here, which we still don't know if we are, but it looked like we're going to. It was, it was a nice read I gave here in the market because we could have fallen today. I mean, we actually could have fallen today. I really... Just went completely with my gut looking at that gap. I just said, honest to God, you know, you know, you just have, sometimes you have to look at something and you, you don't wish that it was going anyway. You don't wish it up and you don't wish it down. You say, what is this doing here? Huh? And then it, whatever it says is what it is. Because I really looked at it and I said, I, uh, you know, if it falls, it falls. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Here, DLTR, this we want to fall. Here. Here we go, hand of the button for DLTR down to the next number 88. Come on, trying to hold this down a little bit to break the number, but if it doesn't, I'm out. Here, 8801. There, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Do whatever you want. I still think it's lower. Nice, nice quick one. Steve's out, Barry's out, Barry did it! See? Gave Barry a pep talk last night. Congratulations, Barry. DeBob's out too. All right, let's look. Phew. That is done. Here, this worked as well. Late, too late to take it now, but you could have done it. Stop on this wasn't small either. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I think we did the best one, though, for all intents and purposes. But this did work. This was not a small stop either. What was the other one? Galahad liked something that I didn't like. What was it? CVNA? I didn't really like it. Ooh, and it didn't work. I didn't even bother rating this. What was the other one? Let's take a look at Walmart. Fred said, great call. I knew out $1,600. Best day ever? Wow. Congratulations, Fred. Good job for you, too. Who said you can only make money in earnings season? Wrong. You make money whenever there's good gaps. Walmart is falling off a planet. Let's look at Amazon and Amazon Zen Trader. I know you wanted to take more of this. You didn't yesterday into the close. This trade still looks good. I mean, this is holding very, very strong. And as you know, the market is holding too. So it's up to you if you want to take more of this now. I don't know if you're flat down in it, what you're, where you're at with this from what price you got it yesterday, but it looks fine. And what did Netflix do? Zen Trader took a profit to Netflix, which was good because of the market this morning. Gappy Demo, let's take a look at it. I still think it's higher. Let's look at Netflix today. And let's look at this now because I don't think it's laying yet, but it's coming down like rain, except for it's snow. <laughs> it's coming down a lot, but it's not laying yet. And I got to walk across the street. This looks good. This looks very good. This looks excellent considering. All right. This even looks lower too. I think that was the right thing to do for a quick one and out. Can't actually believe I did anything right today considering the fact that my head just is, feels like it's gonna explode. Um, I need to close my eyes for a little bit and go outside and get an Excedrin. Does anyone want to go over anything at all today? This looks great. $86 today, DLTR, if you want to hold it. You're either in the original trade and you hold it. The stop was perfect. Gave it even more room than it needed, but sometimes these expensive ones, these whippy ones, you never know. Um, and this still looks lower, but it's not setting up again. You can't take it again. Garost already went. Um, and if you didn't do this, then you're just not in it. Actually, if you, if you, if you want to watch this for another setup, you could. If you want to watch this for another setup, you could, but I think it's just going to roll over. Here it goes. Is anyone still in DLTR? 
Um, HRB, I don't think, did anything right, even though that did gap. This is a piece of crap here today, so forget that one. Uh, what was the other one? Urban. Uh, this was a piece of crap, too. So that was really weird. When I looked, I was like, well, we're doing something I didn't think we'd be doing. What caused the after gap market down yesterday? I'll tell you, because I subscribe now to all the big news services, so I know what's going on when they call me for TV. Let's look at Reuters. Um, it has to do with the guy uh, leaving the White House. What's his name? Gary Cohn or Cohen or how do you pronounce his name? That's what it is. I saw that last night. I actually didn't have the news on, and then I looked it up. Because we, like, boom. Like, last night, I was like, what? I was like, boo. I was, like, sitting here doing something, and then we just were, like, we just collapsed on top of ourselves. Here, this was last night. Like, this happened almost immediately. Here's 445. Here's, it was 515-ish. Yeah, I must have been sitting here doing something. At 515 into 530, we literally went boom like that. I mean, I was like, did Amazon report and gap down and didn't tell it? I mean, I was trying to think of what stock was reporting that could have moved the market. It made no sense to me. That, I mean, the market's going to react to anything, but it doesn't mean it's something that you should react to. You shake it off. That's that's not a real reason to short the market. The market is really higher. market's getting bought right now, which depends how strong we get bought here today, but it, we will trap some shorts in here that probably thought the market was go is going to come down because of all this fears and even if we turn red today I, I don't think we go down but I don't think we're gonna um let's see what Apple's doing I don't think we have any options on except for the fact that Amazon and then there's nothing else everybody should be out of Netflix or was nothing else to call here they announced it after the market closed that was weird timing any target of the upside for ADSK is that a gap what where did that come from I didn't even look at that this morning Pyro still in DLTR, missed your exit order by a penny. <laughs> All right, now you sound like Galahad. If it doesn't get it by a penny, I'm not giving up that last penny, damn it. <laughs> Just get out of it. Press the button. Beep. You can press the button yourself. You don't need to let the order fill you. This is a positive trade. Don't let it run up against you. If you want to hold it, fine. But I'd put a stop in and lower your stop if you're still in it. Don't let a trade go against you for a penny. No piggies. Put the stop over, although I think this is too far away. If this doesn't drop right here, just ding right out of it. Just go poof, and you ding out of it. ADSK had earnings, all right, I'll look at it. That actually does look lower though. Dollar Tree, yeah, I think it's an 86 bucks today. And even if I didn't have a headache, I don't see myself holding it to there, but we might've held it a little bit more. Fast trade to the best. Fast money is the best. Quick, easy, no stress, in, out. Boom, whatever it is. ADSK, do I like it to do anything today? The answer is no. Came in hard. Market, squishy, squashy here. Market, I think, holds, but I don't think this is going to help this here the way the market gapped down today. This did gap up. I don't like the way it came in hard. The overall chart is fine. Obviously, this is still higher. I don't see anything in here that makes me want to do anything or even call anything in this. Is the stock higher? Yes. Can I tell you where it's going to go today? No. Look at the read on it now. It's neutral. It's actually just right where it opened. When, this is not ideal, and I, we never, ever play these. We would not have done this today at all here if we had watched it to go long. In fact, it probably goes red again. I have no idea how this closes. Even though it's back up here in the open and trying to go green, this is not what you want to see. People play these to fill the gap. We don't do that. It's a buy. That's true. But today is a day trade? No. In the longer term picture, probably yes. Maybe you could look at it as an option in the next day or two. But I wouldn't even take an option in this today because this could fall all the way down to here until it holds. I mean, you just never know. big gap up in this it's got to situate itself a little bit there are plenty of other better things to go long I don't know if there are any today but if you're gonna do an overnight trade I wouldn't go long that 
let's see what's up for tonight. How's everybody doing? Um, what is that for tonight? I think the market's going to be sloppy here today, but. We don't if we don't cont if we don't just power trend out we're gonna be sloppy oh costco's tonight let's take a look at that costco is tonight there you go so that's a watch for something but i don't know what we gotta just plow 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 on through here and power trend up today if we're gonna hold because if we if we see any bit of selling in here, it's going to start to look like like sloppy, like the weather is outside here in New York today. I, I don't know, but we need to hold the low of the day, and if we don't, it could be very sloppy. Look at, look at Netflix today. This is here. I'll just go over this, and we'll look at Costco, and then we'll call it a day, unless Jairo wants to talk about something. This, oh, actually, where, where is it at now? Oh, Peter, did you get out of this or not? I hope you did. Um, Netflix, what a great example of strength in a chart. Netflix gapped down today. Again, you don't buy it here, and, and, you, and you wouldn't short it here, too. If you were in it from yesterday and thought it was higher, and you got up this morning and it wasn't higher, and the market gapped down, you might have sold out of it today. But look, hardly at all. I mean, when you look at this here, you see the real strength in this chart. And Amazon, too, but this is even more obvious. I mean, again, read what's happening in the price action of anything that you trade to give you conviction or not in something. This stock gapped down today in a bizarro area and held and, is, and, and held. And, and what strength? I mean, to hold here like this, it's 947 in the morning. I know the market's green, but it's nothing to do with it. If this gap down because of the market, it probably would have gapped up or open and then rally. But what strength in this chart here to be green like this in a day like this? And Amazon too. I mean, what strength? I mean, this is just not going down. It's not going to go down. It will not go down. These, these stocks are not going down. I mean, what strength? And actually, it reminds me of, this is just so unusual and so, so rare and really hard to explain in words. But the day that the market really, for me, solidified itself that it was it was turning around was here which i told you because i really thought that market had a huge potential to drop that day and it didn't then we ended up opening much higher than we were in the morning we still got down but we got bought so strong that day just so strong buying just swept right into the market that day and just swept it up and and it was at a placement that was so unusual to happen and that's very similar to here it's like sometimes you see something and you're like, that is so bizarre, but it is just a testament to what's happening in the overall chart. And in the case of these stocks here, Netflix and Amazon, it's the utter, utter strength in it that no, everyone is hanging on. If there are, people are long, they're hanging on to their longs. They're not selling them and no one is shorting them. No one is shorting them. People are just waiting, waiting for more buying to come in. And when you have a little bit of a sellers, it's not a big deal. For the most part, people are hanging on because they believe that the stock is higher. They have conviction it's higher, they believe in it. They believe in the chart. Second trade in this, I don't know why you'd wanna do a second trade if you had a great first trade, but you know, you could have done both here. I don't see a second setup happening in anything. Let's take a look at cost. And, um, yeah. Ooh, I'll tell you, I, you know, next time uh, I feel like I don't have a good sleep, I have too much going on, which was last Wednesday, which was, you know, the only day we lost in the last, I don't know how many weeks. Uh, maybe I just will either have Jira run the room or we just won't trade because really, honestly, I woke up in the middle of the night, that prior night from the smoke alarm, and really, 
we didn't we didn't need to do anything that day. Next time I feel like I don't have it in me, we cannot trade. And I seriously, I thought this morning, am I okay to trade? But I felt like I felt like I was okay if I did a quick one, which I was. But it's, I mean, it's just about the focus. I wasn't tired today, but I just had a headache. But last Wednesday morning, I was tired. Just didn't have a good sleep. Cost is doing its thing. Um, cost never got to 200. Oh, that's interesting. Or did it? No, it didn't. I would be a bit surprised if this gapped up and finally goes to that number. I, I wouldn't do any trades in this until it does. It very well could gap down and fall like a brick, but I just have a feeling, not based on anything else, that this is going to gap up and finally get over that $200 number. But I would not do any trades in it until it does. Anyone have any questions about anything else? If you want to do this again, you could do it in the five minute. If it hits, it hasn't yet. Um, if you want to, uh, you could do 60 by, got to put the stop over 90. 90 10 60 by 90 10 not small for a second trade but could drop and break the low i don't see any reason to do anything else though honestly gyro oh gyro left i guess he doesn't have anything to say does anyone want to talk about anything at all or any comments any questions it's been a good week been a good start to March. Everyone should be up. And everyone should be in a groove. Anyone want to go over anything? We'll see where the market goes later today. Into the close, but it really needs to hold, and I think that we'll try. And I think that we might. Good call today. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you for a fine morning. Hope it headache leaves fast. Me too. <sighs> Me too. I don't know why I have it. Brain overload. I need a vacation. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good day. I will see you tomorrow. Be careful if you trade anything else, but I really wouldn't. Take it easy today. Stay in if you're in the wake of the storm. Snuggle in, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Okie doke. Thank you.